Hello everyone. Uh, let's see how to create uh, an URDF file from your OnShape models. So I'm just using the free version of OnShape, and I have already created a simple Scala robot model here. And let me show you how to uh, create a URDF file for this one. Actually, we have to follow some naming conventions in order to create a uh, your DF file from your on shape model. So, or if you want your joints to be, uh, let me actually show you how to create uh, create this model from scratch. So, I'm going to create uh, your DF file for this Kara bot uh, from scratch. I'm also going to do this model from here. So, I'm going to create a new document that is going to be named as your df tutorial actually it is uh, we are going to just create a uh, basic model for uh, our application let me actually do the modeling from scratch so i'm going to start from a uh, sketch Let's go to the top plane and create a simple. Before doing anything, we need to uh, okay. I'm going to use kilogram. So the workspace unit uh, is very important because this is what. Uh, We don't want our robot to be uh, in, to measure our robots in yards. Nobody needs uh, the measurement in yard, right? So we are going to change it to millimeter. And the angle is in degree. We can use radians also. And I'm using uh, weight. Okay. I'm I'm using kilogram as a as unit of mass. So this is the first thing we have to do so go go here and change the workspace unit and let's go to okay let's create a simple uh, extrude that is going to use a sketch to sketch a top plane and okay. let's let's create a hundred cross hundred so now it is completely constrained so the lines are dark now actually even if you click this and try to change it it will not change but if you if you don't do this constraint change this one you can actually change this this so to be fully constrained we have to define all the values so i'm going to create a 100 cross 100 base for our robot and I'm going to draw a simple, uh, sorry, uh, I'm going to use extrude to create a simple extrusion from this one. And I'm going to, this will be 20 mm. I'm going to do 20 mm for it. And as you can see, we have created a simple block. And now I'm going to place a simple extrusion on top of it. So let's create another sketch and I'm going to draw a circle. Let's give this as 50 and it does not need any other, uh, any other parameter. So it is already completely constrained. 
let's create another exclusion is almost 50 so let's give it 50 so now we have created the base so let's name it as base it's named as base and Let's create another pod studio and create the next pod. So let me create a sketch quickly. It is just going to be a rectangle. And let me give constraints to it briefly. Actually, we have 50 mm here, so let me create a so actually let's create a simple extrude here itself. So, our uh, model will only have two structures there is one base link and another link that is completely. Uh, revol revolve around this one. So let me create uh, another circle here on this X tool on top of this X tool. And its diameter should be okay. Let's give 30. Okay. So this is the base link and in the pot I am going to use Also, so that this link will fit into the uh, base link. As you can see, this base link will be mated with this one. So it is 30, and it is not completely constrained yet because we have not specified the uh, distance between the origin and this one. So actually, the it can be anywhere. So actually created a simple constraint on this horizontal axis so see this is horizontal so now I am going to create a, a definition that is uh, a constraint that is going to define uh, distance between these two I am going to give uh, 60 okay. this height can be reduced Create an extrude now with this sketch. So you can see there is a hole in the center, and this is what I was intended to do. Now let's create an assembly. And in the assembly, um, actually, let's name this part as link 2. Or link 1 since the first one is named as base link let's name it link 1 and in assembly I'm going to create uh, I'm going to insert those two parts so 
okay and this one is going to be fixed the base link is going to be fixed i fixed it and we are going to create a, a mate between this and this one so let's create it so you can see revolute mate and this revolute mate will be transformed into urdf uh, revolute revolute motion so we can create revolute mate between this surface and this one so we can give the limits if we want to limit the motion between 0 to 180 degrees so the motion will be constrained to see this revolving so this is this is the base model that we are trying we have created and this we we need only one joint so close it and this revolute joint need to be named as dof underscore whatever you want so dof whatever will be uh this dof underscore will be used by this uh, on shape to robot script this is actually a python script that will read this urdf uh, read this on shape model and convert it into a urdf file that can be used with gazebo simulation or ros or vis simulation or anything you want so this is this is pretty much it with the on shape part and now let me show you how to install this on shape to robot doc on shape to robot python script so you can just python minus pip install uh on shape to robot so python 3 i am using python as well as python 3 so i am using python 3 so i have already installed and uh, set it up previously so it is uh, actually i have already installed it so it is showing requirement already up to date and if you run this command for the first time you will uh, it will be automatically installed in your system so i am using ubuntu uh, but you can use the since it is based on python python 3 you can actually use it in uh, you can actually use it in windows also but uh, there is a difference between python there is a difference between linux and uh, windows usage since uh, we set up our api key in linux with a uh, export command you can either create a uh, uh, you create an environment variable named as this in windows system so we are going to create api keys and api secret keys for in uh, there is only one difference between this uh, linux install and uh, windows since linux uses environment variables with uh, this kind of uh, export command you can actually specify these values in your uh, configuration file which i am going to show you in a minute uh, or you can create a path variable which is named as on shape c on shape access key uh, 
you have to get your own access key and uh, secret key from onshape developer portal which you can i will i will leave the uh, this link in your description since i am using uh, since i have already created uh, api keys in onshape developer portal it is showing up here but uh, you will have to create it for the first time and don't forget to uh, save your uh, secret key in the first run so if you failed to do so you have to delete your api key and uh, create it again okay uh, let me actually show how to configure this in windows uh, sorry linux you just have to open bash rc in um, in any text editor you want um, basically i use win so win so as you can see i have already added my uh, on shape access key as well as on shape secret key in here and <clears throat> i am going to i am not going to share you these keys because it is for uh, private use only and you can generate this key from here in developer portal of on shape okay actually show you how to create a json config file that is needed for uh, creating this creating your your own your df file it is pretty very simple and let me go to my development directory so here i am going to create a new directory that is so you can just right click on your uh, uh, file explorer and create a new new folder here in windows new folder in any directory you want we name it as your df tutorial let me change into your df tutorial directory and i am going to create a simple configuration file from uh, here so let me actually use a graphical based uh, So I am going to create a simple JSON file that is going to take just two parameters. As you can see here, uh, the simplest configuration file contains the document ID and the output format. So since we are going to create a URDF for output, just copy this and paste it in your document file. And this document ID is actually you can extract this info from your on shape document so so this document id is actually can be extracted from your uh, document your your df file url on on shape website so this is basically the document id so it is next to this document uh, forward slash and up to this one this is your document id just copy it and paste it in the json config file you are going you are creating so you just have to paste it here and we are going to just save it in we are going to save it in our uh, development robot and urdf tutorial and i am going to save it uh, with a name so you have to save it with a name config.json okay so this, this document should be like this document id and nothing else needed to be added 
and okay actually uh, it contains only the config.json file and when we run our script uh, the script will read this config.json and from the environment variable that is I, what I have exported to my bash rc it will read the read your api key and then go to your uh, go to your onshape server and download the stl file from onshape server and then uh, create the urdf file for you with just a simple command so i am going to create open the terminal here and i uh, once you run this command python 3 it will be it will install uh, this on shape on shape to robot to your path it will add it will be available for you to use and you just have to specify the uh, directory name where the config.json file is located so in, in my case i have placed it in your df tutorial and it is retrieving the uh, it is retrieving my 3d model from on shape and created this uh, let me show you the urdf file So actually it created a robot.urdf file here and it downloaded this base.stl and link1.stl that we have created in our model. So in order to visualize we can use uh, on shape to robot bullet so for this to work you have to install bullet that is uh, pi bullet it will be at automatic actually automatically installed when you install on shape to robot uh, python package so you don't have to worry about anything and just run this command on shape to robot bullet and the directory name you are here So the link name what I have created is whatever. So it is So each time you run this script, uh, it will rewrite the directory on which the config.json file is in. So it will actually rewrite the uh, files, STL files and something. So since we have not assigned any material, there is no mass, mass properties is generated. So in order to create a proper simulation, we have to assign some material to it. So let me go to here and assign a material here. Assign material. Uh, I'm going to create, I'm going to use aluminium as material. For this one as well as this one. There is quite a lot of materials available uh, in here. So I'm just going to use aluminium. So you don't have to save anything, it will be automatically saved. And so everything will be rebuilt and 
once once again you have to just run this command on shape two robot your dear tutorial that's that your dear tutorial is the directory name on which the config .json file is present so there we are there is no error and let's actually see the model in bullet so you can see here it is moving on 80 degree so since the uh, pi bullet is a complete uh, physical physics engine that is simulating its weight and its inertia and everything so it will if i move it too quickly see as you can see uh, the inertia of this uh, longer part is lesser than higher than this uh, this lower part so if we move this link too quickly it's actually <laughs> going to just move the bottom part Okay, it's already tumbled. Okay, that's it. Uh, you can you can add more more and more links and just keep in mind. Okay, that's it. And just keep in mind that DOF should be DOF underscore should be the name preceding whatever the name you are intended to you intended for your link. Uh, actually, intended for your joint. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have if you want to see more tutorials like these in this channel please comment below